Hey, this is John Petrucci, and this month we're going to continue on the concept of combining arpeggios in order to create rich chordal illusions in your playing. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be in fifth position, and again, we're going to combine two basic triads. The first one is an F sharp diminished triad, and the root is on F sharp on the B string, so. <laughs> All right, and the second one is a D major triad. All right, and the root is going to be on D on the G string. And this is one of my favorite sounds because it immediately implies this chord without even playing the root. When you combine this, automatically I hear that D7. cool thing about that is it's, it's something cool to go to. Let's say you were playing over a D and you're playing like kind of bluesy. I don't know, it just has a cool sound to go to. Okay, so the next example using these sounds combines two more arpeggios. We're going to stick with that F sharp diminished one that we have over here. And we're going to combine that with an A minor. So here it is, sound, what it sounds like over an A minor. So here's the A minor arpeggio over A. All right. Now, this F sharp triad that we played over here, we're just going to move it up to this position. Same exact notes. That's what it sounds like over F sharp. And when we combine the two, we get an F-sharp minor 7 flat 5 sound. Okay, and finally, I'm going to show you a little bit of technique to make this more exciting. And it's going to be a sweep technique that combines alternate picking, sweeping in an ascending and descending fashion, combining the different arpeggio positions. Okay, so now that we have all of the background as far as where these came from, um, it should be really easy. We just have to get the technique under our fingers. And really, it's mostly in the right hand. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to start combining G and E minor for the first part. And then we're going to combine G and B minor for the second part. And the technique goes like this. You're going to start on an upstroke on the G string. And what that's going to do is going to set up a downstroke sweep on the next three strings. So we have. So up, down, down, down. And then we're going to play an upstroke on D on the high E string. So it's going to sound like this. All right, the trick also, just keep this in mind when you're sweep picking, make sure you drag the pick across the three strings. Don't individually play those, those downs because uh, you'll never get the speed. You have to kind of just push the pick down like that. So, all right, and then to complete the lick, you move up to F sharp with your pinky, and this is going to be the B minor arpeggio combined with the G major. And the technique is reversed. So we ended the first part on an up. So now we're going to go down. And then we're going to go three ups in a row. And it end with a down. So down, up, 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 down. All right, so the first part, second part. And that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little fun. We're going to apply this to a chord progression. So the first part is played over an E, all right? And again, we're implying that sort of E minor 9 sound. Now, if you take the same thing and we're going to transpose this up to A, we're still in the key of E minor, but now we're playing over an A. All right, and it starts on uh, G on the 12th fret. 
And it does the sa same exact technique, but uh, based on an A. Let's hear that over an A chord. All right, then we're gonna move on to an F sharp minor seven flat five. And to get that sound, we're gonna start on an E on the G string, and we're gonna combine an F sharp diminished arpeggio with an A minor. Again, same technique, up, down, 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 up. Hear that over an F sharp. Then we're gonna finish it off by playing an uh, C major combined with an A minor. So we have over F sharp. And to finish it off and resolve it, we're gonna go back to the first shape. But this time we're gonna change the root from an E to a G. And it's gonna imply that kind of G major 13. All right, so let's hear that over G. And that's it. So you can have fun with that. And uh, let's try combining those and see what it sounds like. All right, so here we go over the E.